All right, this is Mr. Barr, and it is time to talk about some math. So here it is. We've got relations. Oh, good, you can't see this finger over here. I'm glad. Because it's got a bandit on it. Why? Because I got a crazy paper cut earlier today. I'm working on some papers, and boom! A piece of paper just jumps up, bites my finger. Relations and functions. Relations convert between tables, graphs, mappings, and lists of points. Here it is. You're going to like this stuff. The domain. The domain are the X's. They're the N's. Range. Those are the Y's. Those are the outs. One reason I can remember it is it's alphabetical order X, Y, domain, range. Domain and range are in alphabetical order. Does it make sense? Domain, D comes before R. So this is what it looks like. If I have a set of an ordered pair, this is an ordered pair. This is X. This is Y. Well, I could think of it as a domain and range. So when it's asking for the domain, you're just being asked for the x's. When you're being asked for the range, you're just being asked for the y, the y's. Because math is, you know, complex like that sometimes. So let's look at this guy. So I have this relationship right here. And it just wants to know what the x look at this. Where, where's this point? This point is at 3 7. This point is at, where's that at? 4, 4. And this one is at 8, 10. And all the questions asking me for is, hey, if the domain, if the x is 3, what's the y that goes with that? Well, it's 3 and 7. There's my 8 and my 10. And if the domain, if the x is or excuse me, if the y, if the range is 4, what goes with that? Well, that's a 4 and a 4. That's all there is to this. It's x's and y's. It's domains and range. So here's a set of ordered pairs. I have a 3 going to a 19. And these guys down here, they're called mapping diagrams. It's the domain and range. This is just the x's and the y's. And we're, we're looking at this set of points, this set of ordered pairs, and figure out which mapping diagram makes sense. Well, I have a 3 mapping to a 19. I have an x with a y. Well, this 3 is mapping to a 19. But down here, 3 is also mapping to a 19. So that one's OK no matter what. That's, that's happy on both of them. Let's take a look at 6 is mapping to a 20. Well, here's 6. He's mapping to a 20. And here's 6. It's mapping to a 20 also. So, so far, we're good with both of these. Here's 17 mapping to a 0. 17 mapping to a 0. Seven. Yep, that one works again. So, so far, hard, good. Now, I have a 6 mapping to a 0 also. Here's 6 mapping to a 0. And this one, well, he doesn't have that mapping. So this is not the correct one. This must be the right one. Here we go. Not too bad. Here we go. So we have a table. And using the table, that set of ordered pairs, how about right about there? Can we use this table to fill in the actual points? Well, this table is just, it's a point, isn't it? This is negative 2, 8. Negative 2, 8. There it is. This is 11, 9. Oh, you know what? That's this one right here. This is the 11, 9. Let's fill that in. Negative 2, 17. Well, there's negative 2, 17. 5, negative 12. 5, negative 12. Okay, here's another mapping diagram. 
Now we're going to take this mapping diagram and turn it into a set of points. So negative 20 with negative 17, there's that one, negative 16 going with 11, negative 16 with 11, there's that one, negative 14 with 9, negative 14 with 9, well that's that one, 10 is mapping to 13, there's 10 mapping to 13, 11 goes with 4, 11 goes with 4, and 19 goes with 18, 19 goes with 18. There you go. So there's your first introduction into the idea of domain and range, X's and Y's. We talked about the idea of the mapping diagram right there, mapping diagrams. And that's it. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.